In this video, we're going to do an unboxing of the Motorola Surfboard Extreme cable modem. Now, the important thing about this modem is that it's a DOCSIS 3.0 modem. And that's important because it allows you to access higher speed internet. So let's get to it. Now, I bought this from Best Buy for $89, about $90 with tax. It was a little over $90. You can get this anywhere from somewhere around $70 to $90, depending on where you buy it. Now, if you have cable internet, chances are you're probably renting your modem from your cable provider or your internet provider. I used to do that until last year when I actually purchased my modem. The only reason I'm buying a new modem, because that modem works perfectly fine, is because I needed to upgrade to the DOCSIS 3.0, and that modem isn't. It's a lower-end Motorola surfboard modem. So basically, if you do buy your own modem, you're going to end up saving money in the long run. So I definitely recommend purchasing your own modem. Now, it says on the box that this is compatible with all major U.S. cable providers, including Time Warner, Comcast, Slash Xfinity, which is the provider that I have, Bright House Networks, Cox, Charter, and Cablevision. Now, just before filming this video, I did a speedtest.net test on my internet speeds. And I got a download speed of 25.9 megabits per second. I got an upload speed of 4.44 megabits per second. By going with this modem and then paying for a higher tier of internet, which I think is going to cost me about $10 per month more from Comcast, I'm going to be able to access the higher tier. Now, supposedly it tops out at 50 megabits per second download and I think 10 megabits per second upload. And as it stands right now, my current modem and my current internet speeds are sufficient for the most part. But the reason I'm doing this upgrade is because when I do a video on this channel and upload it, it takes several hours for it to upload. Now, it's probably going to take a couple of hours to upload my videos, especially the longer ones. But if I go to the higher internet speed, it'll probably take half as long because basically I'm doubling my upload speed by going to the higher tier. So that's the reason I'm doing this. But on here, on the box, it advertises eight times faster. So this modem is capable of 343 megabits per second, although I'm not going to be topping it out at that speed because I'm not going to pay for that high of an internet speed. It also says extreme speed, ultimate experience, online video, and gaming comes to life. So again, this modem is capable of higher speeds than I'm going to be running it at, but it's going to be a welcome upgrade from what I currently have. And this is what the modem looks like. Of course, we're going to open the box and take a look at it. It is a white modem. The one I have currently is just a generic black looking modem. So let's just take a look on the side here. You have highlights, DOCSIS 3.0, which is important. It's backwards compatible to DOCSIS 2.0, capable of downloading up to eight times faster than DOCSIS 2.0, enables advanced multimedia experiences, and it's compatible with Windows, Macintosh, Linux, Unix operating systems, and I don't think we have to go through any more of that. So here are all the different modems that they offer, and it shows their download speeds. You can also get this modem with a router built into it, but I have a nice router. I actually just purchased a new one, and I'm very happy with it. Now, this modem does come with a one-year limited warranty, which is good because, you know, you're purchasing your own equipment, not renting it from the cable company, and one of the downsides of that is that if you do rent from the cable company, if it breaks or whatever, you're not responsible for it, you just trade in for a new one. But at least you have a year out of this, and your rental fee throughout the year should probably pay for this modem. And chances are it's going to last more than a year, so you're going to save money in the long run. So let's open this up here. I don't think I'm going to need my trusty cutter because there's no seal on the box here. First thing you'll notice here is the modem, and we'll take a closer look at that in a second. Let's just put that to the side. Here is some documentation down here. Surfboard SB6141, in case you're interested in the model number. Here is the wall adapter. There we go. And then an cord, which I have a whole bunch of these. So that's pretty much everything in the box. Let's put this to the side and take a look at the modem. 
So we have a couple of seals here on the bag, just telling you to make sure that your outlet is properly grounded so you're not going to hurt any of your computer equipment. So let's see if we can get this open without tearing anything, as I do like to keep everything in as good condition as possible because when I'm done with these things, I generally sell them, even though a modem is going to be lasting me a long time, unless I have to upgrade like I am from the previous modem. Let's pull the uh, protective plastic off of here. And of course that means only one thing when you see protective plastic on top of plastic. It means that you have some sort of glossy plastic there. So let's peel this off here. There we go. So this is what the front of the modem looks like. You have your Motorola branding up here. You have a power light. You have a couple of under, other indicator lights here, most of which are just telling you if you're getting your internet connection and if you're connected to a computer. Uh, there is some venting. This is recessed here, so there's venting all the way around. And as you probably can see, glossy plastic, and this is a transparent glossy plastic. Again, surfboard SB6141. Now the rest of it is a sort of off-white matte plastic, and you have a lot of venting here on both sides. Well, actually, there's no venting on this side. It just is pseudo-venting so it appears like this side. On the back, it's very simple. You have your power port right here, your internet in from your cable provider, and then an ethernet out. In my case, it's going out to my router. On top, you do have some venting, and on the bottom, you have four rubberized feet and no venting. So here we go, my brand new modem is powered up and activated with Comcast. Now one thing I wanted to mention that I neglected to mention is that it's made out of a nice sturdy plastic and it has a decent weight to it. So the cords aren't gonna be pulling it around because you do have a cable cord and an ethernet cord in the back that might get the best of a lighter device. But in this case, you don't have to worry about that. As you can see on the front, there are five indicator lights and apparently for working internet you have to have the first four solid and the last one blinking. Now I've seen some of these lights where they're green, some of them right now are blue, some of them are green, and I think some of them were white during the process. Now I don't know if you can actually see it because it appears that these lights are a little too bright for the scene right now so you can't actually make them out on the camera. You can obviously in person and you actually get a cool effect on the side through the venting where you can actually see the LEDs shine through there. Now I just did a speed test and I had a download speed of 68.38 megabits per second. My upload speed was 9.93 megabits per second. So basically I just doubled my speed. Of course I had to go the next tier up on my internet with Comcast in order for that to happen. Strangely enough, I also got HBO in on the deal, so I'm pretty excited to upload my first video with my faster internet. So that's the Motorola Surfboard Extreme SB6141 DOCSIS 3.0 cable modem. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.